Hi guys, Keywizzle here back. I've been recently playing RS3 lately, and I've been having a bit of fun. I've been trying to do different things just to make the game a bit more fun for me again. So, what I'm going to be doing is, I know it's, this is kind of not going to be the same as old school RS, but I'm going to be doing um, Road to Max, to Max Cash Stack, basically. And I'm basically going to be starting from nothing. If all I remember, all I had was about... 10 or I think 9 mil at the start of this but I did have to buy a couple of stuff so I was gonna do some easy stuff like right here in this clip you can see me you know pickpocketing hand members for some easy clue scrolls took me about 11 to 15 minutes to get 25 which is the max so out of all of them I only did 15 clue scrolls so I was trying to do big ape hunter to get the totem but yeah I did 15 clue scrolls and as you can see I made it just about a good five five to six mil just from the fortunate components so you know it really does that five mil from 15 clue scrolls is really not that bad i could have been a lot faster with my clues but <laughs> excuse me but i am still getting used to doing you know clues clue scrolls because this never really was my thing but now i've kind of been liking them so you know it it is what it is uh you know fortunate components are at least 400 to 500 k a piece so you know, that actually adds up. And then I got a couple of Saradona pages. Uh, ancient pages really did not sell that well. So, no, no, another thing I wanted to do was some Slayer. And I did have a task of Gargoyles. And on my mind, I thought, you know what, this is a great task. But then I was doing it for like about 40 kills. And I was like, okay, this task sucks. There are so many other tasks out there. So, you know, I went back to, uh, Len oh, I don't know how you say her name is, Lanakia. And I went and go ahead and got a different task. And the task that I got was Corrupted Creatures. So, you know, it's definitely a better task. I don't have to bank. Um, you know, I can get the keys, which has an increased drop on task. Uh, right there, I did get a key drop, which is about 300k. So, you know, just a nice, just a nice, you know, uh, nice um, coin stack to the, um, to the cash stack. So, you know. But what I'm going to be doing in this video is basically explaining what I'm trying to do. So, you know, I already said it at the beginning. I'm trying to go for max cash stack in this game. Because I have honestly have never been over one bill in this game. And I kind of want to hit that, you know, whatever the max cash stack. I think it's 2.1 bill or something like that. 2.4. And, you know, just basically hit that max cash stack. And <laughs> just, just another achievement. I'm not going to be doing all through Slayer. I'm going to be doing some pvming some skilling like right now it's the time of recording this i'm just afking uh mining um light animica ore so you know slowly making money that'll definitely be in the next uh a video but um yeah it's you know it's keeping it relatively simple i don't want to keep it boring so there's gonna be a lot of stuff i'm gonna be trying to do i'm gonna be doing rune crafting um the thing is with me with doing Slayer is I don't have all the good tests unlocked. Like I don't have nightmares, I don't have Edimus, so I'm kind of missing out on some really good money tasks. So, and I'm gonna try to prioritize money over um, over Slayer XP. Dirt, depending on the tasks. If I get like Hydra's Dragons, I just do not. The task is amazing XP, but I it's the boringest task, probably the most boring task in the game. So, you know, highly. Anybody that does it, if you just want the XP, do it. We should bring a screenshot of a sacrifice. But other than that, they are super boring. So I wouldn't really recommend it. But um, yeah, if you guys want to do some bosses with me, go ahead and just, you know, add, add my main and see how Keyshawn you probably can see in the video. Because uh, that's one thing I always wanted to do in this game is, you know, high level PBMing. I've done a couple. I've done a couple duo packs, but I was with a friend a long time ago. I've done Rise of the Six. That was awesome a long time ago. Um, and that's pretty much it. I haven't even done raids, so I gotta look into getting, look at how to get into all that stuff. So that's pretty much it as far as that. Anything else I would try to do? Um, that's pretty. There's really nothing else you could really do. Uh, you know, you got crafting. Can't really do major. Let's do combat. Uh, thieving. We can do thieving for a bit of money. That's been AFK. When I theme in uh, El City, I like to keep track of the jobs. I don't really sell them until I'm not done. So that probably won't happen unless I just need an AFK to make me um, invention or divination. I could just, you know, uh, use the basically a vacuum attic. For, you know, um, we all know the name, but you know, go to the wilderness volcano and make. Um, what's it called? Just make. 
charges, and I think that's about three to four mil an hour, but it's pretty slow. And you know, even if you die, it doesn't really matter because you only have one item equipped, so it doesn't matter if you die while you're doing that. Um, that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else I can really do. We could do agility on the uh on uh, Anachronia, but that's a bit slow, and the course is alright, I don't mind doing it, but it does take a bit of while to get all those uh, codex pages to get the codex and then sell it, which I think is about 45 mil, so, yeah, there's that, uh, you know, we can do something for some money, uh, Hunter, I'm already 120 Hunter, I don't feel like, you know, grinding out Hunter right now, so like, doing the Red Wall Spies, I'm pretty sure there's me other stuff to, uh, to do with Hunter, but I, I just don't see it. I'm also going to be doing a bunch of uh, herb runs, you know, 100 farming. Um, and, uh, it's kind of insane on how much uh, herbs cost right now in uh, RS3. Like, uh, dwarf weed seeds are like 5k, but the actual dwarf weed, I think, is like 11k or something like that. So, you know, keep track on the wiki of what drops cost what herbs cost and what seeds cost, because a seed can cost a lot, but a herb can cost around the same price as a seed, and then you won't be making as much profit, so check the wiki on the prices, and then do that for your uh, farm runs, so, and you know, that's pretty much it, there's really nothing else for me to really talk about, now I'm going to be doing this a bit more daily, a bunch of cool schools, and that's pretty much it, uh, while doing some spelling on the side, I do That's pretty much it. Um, I know this was a bit boring first video, but trust me, it's going to be a lot better. You know what? And that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good one. See ya.